Hello and welcome back to the We Are City channel for FC25 career mode with Manchester City continuing now into a chilly month of December and look at the fixture list we've got in store. We want wins in every single fixture in December and we're on our way to it. Four games in today's episode, four straight bits of gameplay away to Juventus in Turin. At home in Manchester Army to Manchester United, away to the Emirates to face Arsenal in the Carabao Cup and then finally away to Villa Park to face Unai Emery's Aston. Play games to play in the Champions League and we have played five so far in this new league table and the side we face next away in Turin Juventus currently the best team in this competition so far with four wins and one draw they sit top of the Champions League league table well Tierra Motta's Juve side play some really really exciting football you can see they have won four of their last five in the Champions League Yildiz is expected to start in behind Blahovic and Bangalore on the far left hand side with Weir on the right Locatelli in Turin the midfield with Gatti the captain and Bremer Cavalli left back can be Asso right back, De Gregorio in goal. Real quality plays in, on the bench, including a former Manchester City man in Danilo. I suspect that Juve side will change going to the, the actual game. I suspect Douglas Luiz will start. Coop Myers will start as well. Maybe even Nico Gonzalez. Well, there's so many games at the moment. We have got a very tired start in 11. With no backup left back, Lewis is going to play at left back. And with no backup striker, Haaland will start, despite not being fully fit. It's Grealish, Haaland and Foden City's front three today. With captain Bernardo Silva, Kovacic and Nunes in the midfield three. We might give that captaincy, in fact, to Ruben Diaz, maybe even Kyle Walker. A back four of Rico Luis Diaz, Stones and Walker. Edison starts in goal. We've got Oscar Bob back from injury, back now in the side. Doku, Sabino, Makati, Akanji, Ake, Vardiol, Gundogan and Stefan Ortega on that City bench. Inter in the side from Turin Juventus are top of the group. So Manchester City taking a side who are top, we're in third. A win here today would launch us top of the league stage in the Champions League and would make us thoroughly favourites to go through and win this competition. Outcome the two sides in a big Champions League clash. I can remember City playing here many years ago against Juventus under Manuel Pellegrini it was and I think they came away with a one-run draw that was a Juve side with Alexandro in there. I think they had Danny Alves at right back at the time and a few other players that are no longer there of course. We'll start at 11 for Thiago Motta's Juve then captained by Danilo. Uh, Yildiz is on the bench today, as is Turam, so that is the way it's looking. It's Cooper Myers in behind Blahovic up top. Vigorio starts in goal. Gatti, Bremer, Danilo, Cabal, the back four. Locatelli and Arta start in the midfield too, with Cooper Myers, Nico Gonzalez, and Conseil Shao, who's a very tricky winger behind that man up top. The big man, the Serb, Dusan Blahovic. Mateus Nunes. He's starting nice and wide, Nunes, and he feeds Kovacic. Foden to take it. A turn and shot from Foden. Digorio makes the save. What a start that could be for Manchester City. Grealish keeps it in. Jack Grealish from Manchester City. Grealish. Really still it. Really still it. Grealish. Oh, and then the pass is really poor from Jack Blahovic. Stones in there once and twice from Stones. Well played City win the ball back quickly. Rico Lewis onto Grealish here. Beaten to it by Danilo. Grealish is there. Grealish shoots anyway. It's blocked away by Bremer. Another corner. But good start by City. Good feet by Kovacic, is it? No, he's lost it. Bernardo back out to Walker. Juve can't get out at the moment here. Kovacic. Rico Lewis. Grealish. Haaland. Holds off Bremer. Tries to go in towards Phil Foden. And again, Juve win it back. City trying to walk the ball in a little bit because at the moment, Digger has been difficult to beat. Kovacic chases Danilo. Nice skill from Nico. Walker stays with him. Still with him. Pull it back out here. Walker chases once again. Block. No. Chance for Juve here. Save Redison. Back out to Conce. Shout. Who dribbles his way through here. Another save from Edison. Juve having their chances now. Coop Myers. Into Mateus Nunes. Half time whistle goes nil nil. We had the chance early on. We dominated the game. But Juve with some really good chance at the end there. City have got to be careful. Mateus Nunes brings a lot of athleticism. A lot chasing the ball though from Juve. Foden nicks it back. Walker. Haaland here. Troll for Juve. Haaland. Haaland a chance here. Digger Gurria makes the save again. He's behind for a call. That was a great chance. This one he does lift in. Walker on. He's headed it right into the centre circle. Oh, the, the penalty spot. Oh, we're in trouble here. Don't say Shao turns as a done on the counter. Edison finally comes out. What a bit of goalkeeper from Edison. Stood in his line there and said to Conscious out, make a decision. You're going to have to beat me. And then he came for it. Brilliant from Eddie. Fold him. Back into Bernardo Silva. 
Bernardo across to Rico Lewis. Need some support here, Rico. Not there at all. Nunes. Grealish. Nunes. Back to Grealish. Onside. Grealish. Pulls it back. How a strike here. Down the middle by Haaland. Doesn't get the power in it. We're going to make changes here. Danilo. So lucky. Mistaken pass. I would get punished for that. Nunes can't make the challenge. Kovacic will try. Rico Lewis wins it back. Kovacic. Through to Bernardo Silva. Into Phil Foden here. Foden. Through to Bernardo Silva. Bernardo Silva for Manchester City. Interim. City have the lead. And it's Bernardo Silva. Brilliant play from the midfield. And Foden finds Bernardo. And City lead here. What a goal that is. Really good play. Bernardo through the midfield. Win the ball back. Rico Lewis. Bernardo Silva that weaker right foot. But he makes it count with a really good strike from Bernardo Silva. Phil Foden finds him. And Bernardo Silva finishes. He could have gone back to Haaland here. But he didn't need to. Finishes it by his own accord. Motta frustrated. I mean, his side hasn't been great at all. Two chances in the first half. Is that is it all they've had? Rico Lewis is off. Nunes to fullback. McAtee on for Haaland. Back out wide here. Oscar Bob. Great win by Bob. Into Phil Foden here. Foden. Foden. Oh, referees. Fouled by Bremer. How is that not a foul? Was about to set up Grealish for the winner. Kovacic. That is full time. A 1-0 winning Juve. It comes from Bernardo Silva in the midfield. We said we want that 100% record for December. It's a very difficult month. But so far we've done it. Three more opportunities to do that against United, against Villa, against Arsenal, which is not going to be easy at all. But that's a massive win for City in the Champions League, which puts us top. Well, the Athletic are naming their UEFA Team of the Year defenders and their predictions are Manuel Kanji, Roman Araujo, Jules Tunde and John Stone. So two from Barcelona and two from Manchester City. But more importantly, it's game day two of today's episode. It's the Manchester Derby, City versus United. I'd like to see where we are each in the Premier League table going into this one. Well, Tottenham Hotspur sit top of the Premier League table on 35 points, which is a very, very good season for them. Three points clear of Manchester City and Manchester United, both sides with us, level on points. United ahead just on two goal difference. Villa and Aston, Aston Villa and Arsenal, just one point off us. A little bit further off Tottenham Hotspur, top of that table, who've done really well so far in the opening 15 games. Arsenal and Villa actually play one game in hand. A win here today could be massive if Spurs do drop points. Tottenham Hotspur play Liverpool at home. Okay, now Liverpool down in seventh, but Liverpool could easily beat Spurs at the London Stadium and the Tottenham Hotspur Stadium. That would mean that City or United could go top today with a win in the Manchester Derby at the Etihad Stadium. Top for Christmas is something we want to achieve. Well, this is a Man United side that did beat us in the Community Shield, didn't they, on penalties at the start of the season. It's a very similar looking side. This is the predicted side. And you look at the bench there. They're in really good form. Eric Tenag is doing very well with Manchester United. Well, some changes in the City side today for the Manchester Derby. Edison will start single. It's Rico Lewis, Manu Akanji, Nathan Ake and Yosh Gavardi on the back four. Ake in for Stones and Ruben Diaz. It's captain Bernardo Silva and Ilkay Gundogan in the midfield too with Phil Foden as the attacking midfielder in front. He's going to play very close to Erling Haaland. Haaland up top with Doc and Savino in the wide areas. A more balanced midfield I'm looking for today and very attacking wide area players. Grish, Bob, McAtee, Nunes, Diaz, Stones, Walker and Matteo Kovacic alongside Stefan Ortega on that City bench. Plenty of options to change it if we need to. I am confident this side can go out and get a win in the derby. We need to get a win in the derby to go top of that Premier League table. For Manchester Derby, and I am excited considering the circumstances is under with City and United in and around each other in the Premier League table. Level on points at the moment and a win for either side could push them, launch them further up that table, perhaps even into first depending on a result for Tottenham Hotspur. Well, there is a shock inclusion in Man United's side with in this defence area. Lindelof starts ahead of Delit, Maguire and Evans. So Onana starts in goal. Lindelof in there with Martinez, Mazwari and Sean on the back line. Ugarte and Casemiro in the midfield too with Captain Fernandez, Rashford and Anthony supporting Joshua Zirksy up top. Rasmus Hoyland on the bench today alongside Alejandro Ganacho and a few other real key attacking players for United. It's Manchester Derby and it's live from the Etihad Stadium. What a game we have in store here today. Good feet from Rashford. He's past the Kanji initially. He's held off Manu Akanji with great strength. Marcus Rashford here. Rico Lewis with an unbelievable sliding challenge of the box there by Rico Lewis. Absolutely class from City's midfielder Rico Lewis. Brilliant from Rico. Haaland. Little back heel back to th through to Phil Foden. Finds Bernardo Silva. Gets a cross in here. Handball by Maswari referee. He plays on. Plays a handball for clear as day. Gundogan. 
Savinho. Savinho lets fly here and Onana tips it over the bar. Good chance for City. Savinho. Through to Foden. Cross the box here to Manu Akanji. From centre back in there. And Onana drops and keeps it. Gundogan for City. Well played Gundogan. Through to Savinho. Up against Luke Shaw. Savinho the ball in here towards Erling Carl headed away. Casemiro and United to get it on just. Bruno Fernandes lumps it away. With domination so far from City. Vardio. Gundogan. Through to Haaland here. Into a great little pocket of space. Haaland. Back out to Savinho. Another swing in by Savinho. Foden waiting on the Chesterfield. Foden. And United lump it away again. In towards Bruno Fernandes. Kanji in there with Ake. And that is half time. Nil nil. We haven't scored. We probably should have scored. But again, Erling Haaland is being starved of, um, you know, starved of chances. City need to find him more. Into Foden. Bernardo Silva turns. Anthony on him. Bernardo through to Haaland here. Good touch by Haaland here. Haaland's in. Haaland a chance. Haaland gives City the lead in the derby. One shot. One goal for Erling Haaland. And he gives City the lead in the Manchester derby. One shot. One goal. Celebration to Pep Guardiola and the players at the sidelines here. Jack British and James McAtee involved. City have the lead in the Manchester derby. And it's that man again, Erling Haaland. Found. Played in. Hits across the goalkeeper on Nana with pace and power in the shot. Rifled in. Precision as well. Good ball to him. Martinez tries a sliding challenge. He just misses it. Lindelof nowhere near him. And it starts the second half. City have a lead here for Pep Guardiola's side. 1-0 we lead in the Manchester derby. It's Erling Haaland again. How many more could he get today if we find him in those situations? Savinho. Standing off him. Savinho. Poked him through to Bernardo. On to Jeremy Doku here. Doku. Sits one up. For Phil Foden. Oh, what a save by Onana. What a save by Andre Onana. Fighting with Anthony here. Anthony gets the better of him. He's offside here, Anthony. Surely offside. Anthony down the byline here. Anthony. What is the defence doing? What is the defence doing there, City? Vardy on Ake. I, I knew he was going to do that. But I couldn't stop it. My defenders wouldn't move for me. And United equalise at 1-1 in the derby. And that is so annoying. Dominate the game. And just goal really to concede. That comes from us. Our own problems. Casemiro. Anthony. Pass Vardial again. What is Yoshko doing? Does recover well there. But not, not every tackle on Anthony is a foul referee. Gets the ball. Ganacho comes on. Ball through to Haaland here. Flicks one back out to Savinho. Foden. Great play by Savinho. Cuts inside here. Savinho. Savinho! And a save by Onana. And here's Ganacho. And it's won back by Bernardo Silva. And Ilkay Gundogan. And flip one over here. And Haaland is in again! And Haaland scores again! City win it back with really good pressing. And Ilkay Gundogan to Erling Haaland who's doing a nice little jig with Moonbeam on the sidelines there. Brilliant goal for Manchester City. Win it back. Gundogan flicks it. Erling Haaland first time volley. On his weaker right foot. Into the top right hand corner. And City are back in front in the derby. Bit of Brazilian flair from Savinho coming out here today maybe. Savinho. Oh, he's done Luke Shaw there. Brilliant by Savinho. Cross that near post here towards Hall. He didn't even make the run early. Straight to Doku, is it? Oh, foul, foul Maswari, Doku. Vardial goes to foul him. Doku as well. Doku does make the foul to try and slow United down. Here's Alejandro Ganacho. Chased by Bernardo Silva. Ganacho with the ball in. Xerxes with a free header. Saved by Edison. Akanji didn't do so well there. Edison rolls it out up and the subs aren't going to get on here. Fold him. Up towards Erling Khan in the corner. What are we doing? Two added minutes here. Do not bottle this city. Xerxes with a turn. Okay, we're in trouble. Oh, off the post! We bottle it again! I knew we would do it when as soon as I played that pass to Haaland. Full 
time 2-2. Two, two. We bottle it. Absolutely bottle that. In the last minute. Why did I pass that to Haaland? I wanted to send it. I wanted to pump that to, to a goal kick. Game management costs again. That should have been a win. The performance we put in deserved a win. That's twice this season we've bottled it. Once against Brighton. Maybe even more times that I don't remember. But we should not have thrown that away. And questions need to be asked this City side doing that. Villa, Arsenal, City, United, Spurs all in the title race this year. But I, I can't believe we did that again. I sensed it coming. I, I wanted to pump that ball as long as possible. It goes just to Haaland. He doesn't get there. I can't use Adrian Ake because it wouldn't let my subs come on. So he's too tired to turn. And we get punished. Off the post into Fernandes as well was just... Just everything felt against me. Well, it's Carabao Cup quarter-final action now. Aston Villa have been knocked out to Nottingham Forest, surprisingly, in a 2-1 defeat. Liverpool beat Birmingham City home by three goals to nil. And the other two uh, fixtures are Spurs against United and us away for the Emirates to face Arsenal to get to the semi-final. To Simon the Prout at the Emirates today, Jack Grealish, Mateus Nunes and Oscar Bob will start as our front three. Foden, Kovacic and captain Bernardo Silva in the midfield three with Walker, Stones, Diaz and... Also, Josh Covardiel in the back four. Ortega starts in goal. We have got Haaland on the bench. He's very tired. He's just there in case we desperately need him. The same thrill. Kai Gundogan is a little bit unhappy. I think we're not playing too many games, but he's not been fit, so I can't play him. So, Carabao Cup action at the Emirates Stadium. City go away to Arsenal in a big game, really, in the quarterfinals. The winner would reach the semi finals and then go into a two legged uh, fixture. Arsenal seems to have come out here today with fully their first starting level. As Mikel Arteta knows, this might be Arsenal's only opportunity to win a trophy this season. As for Pep Guardiola, he's a little bit more relaxed. He also knows that his squad are very, very tired. And in that case, we can't be pushing it too much uh, with the side early. Carl, we'd, we'd end up running him into the ground and so many other players as well. So players rested and out there today goes a strong City side. Well, this is the Arsenal side then. They do go with their strongest starting eleven, pretty much, don't they? Timber, Gabriel, Saliba. And others in that bat line, Saka, Havertz and Marcelo front three, Rice, Odegaard and Marino in the midfield three, David Ryer in goal, Sterling, Jesus and more on the bench. I'm a little bit worried by the Arsenal team considering how, what we've put out there. No runners at all, he goes wide to Oscar Bob here against Sinchenko. Bob, Nunes, Bob, time well is it? No, it's offside again as everything, always offside. Every pass you play in behind is always offside. The only man you can sort of get in behind is Erling Carlin really. Ball through to Martinelli. Walker's lost him for the first time today. Martinelli. Martinelli. Martinelli off the post. Kovacic poor clearance. Back to Erdegaard. Martin Erdegaard scores for Arsenal. Why can't we clear that ball, City? Comes back to Kovacic and gives it away to Havertz. And Erdegaard scores at the Emirates. Why don't we clear it? It's such an avoidable goal to concede. And 1 0 Arsenal lead. Nunes. Oscar Bob. In offside again, I'm sure. Every pass in behind is offside. I can't pass it any quicker. I'm banging it first time. I want to fold him. Fold him. Fold him, let's fly here. And he puts it a mile wide. That's what we need Phil Phone to do. Start putting those shots in. Grealish. Bad pass by Grealish. No surprise there. What a waste. What a waste. Why even have Jack Grealish on the ball? Oscar Bob back to Nunes. And Saliba deals it really easy. No one in the edge of the box. Phil Foden stood six miles away. Bernardo Silva's not making a run either. So there's no one to pull it back to. So you just have to stand and watch. Nothing we can do at all. 1 0 down at half time. The goal we can see was avoidable. And everything we do going forward is poor. Foden against Mikel Marino. That's a mismatch. Foden keeps it. Through to Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob pass Saliba. Brilliant skill. Pass Inchenko as well. Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob. Oh, he pokes it wide. Oh, my God. What a goal by Oscar Bob. But no. Pokes it wide. Sat down Saliba. Beats Inchenko. Beat David Riot. When he couldn't get it in the back of the net. Saka. Through to Gabriel Jesus here. Gabriel Jesus makes it 2-0 to Arsenal. Game over Manchester City. And we've only got ourselves to blame. And we let that clown who can't even score. What? 100 Premier League games. Goals in five seasons in the Premier League. Score against us. Into the middle of the goal. Well, 100% record. A win streak in December. That's ended already, hasn't it? Foden. 
Through to Oscar Bob again. Bobby's done him again. Ref! Oh my god! Bob's just done Saliba. And he just says, oh, well, I'll just pull you down anyway. And the ref goes, ah, no foul. It's okay. Don't worry about it. This is Arsenal at the Emirates. You don't get free kicks for that. What a joke. Bernardo Silva, the great challenge. Grealish. Nunes. Oscar Bob again. Bob for City. Bob inside here. Brilliant from Oscar Bob. What a goal from Oscar Bob. He has been the shining light today. I know he missed that chance and I hate him for it. But he's been the shining light today, Oscar Bob. Brilliant from Oscar Bob there for City. Skips past Saliba again. And he bends it into that left-hand corner. Brilliant from Oscar Bob. Absolutely class from Oscar Bob, Bob, Bob. Big switch to Nico O'Reilly. Flicks one on here towards Nunes, who's absolutely nowhere to be seen there. Nunes, he's, he's nicked it off Gabriel. Mateus Nunes. Mateus Nunes! Oh, what a miss again! Two absolute sitters at the Emirates we've missed here today. What a miss by Nunes. Jesus does Walker. Trying to recover Kyle Walker here. Get the wrong side of him. Havertz, back to Jesus. Walker. Oh, my word. Put a foot in. Why do they score every shot? Because our defence is useless. Kyle Walker and Jesus scores two. He's had a good game today, Kyle Walker, until that moment. Twice he doesn't make the tackle. Jesus makes it 3-1. Nunes misses the city at the other end. We're out of the Carabao Cup. We don't deserve to be. We do not deserve to be. Diaz can't win it. Saka in. Poke through to Havertz. Havertz here. Stones dives in. Havertz. Like Cristiano Ronaldo reborn. Car Havertz. Blocked by Walker. Straight into Havertz and nearly scores an own goal. They had a good game today, Walker, until that moment. Back over to Bob, headed away by Tommy Asu. Right, lose the header. Nico Riley takes it down. Full time in the Carabao Cup. No wins in December. That's not happening at all now. A 3-1 defeat to Arsenal at the Emirates when we should have actually gone and won that game. And we missed two... Bob and Nunes missed two sitters. Kyle Walker decides... You know, he announces his retirement mid-game against Jesus. He scores two goals against us, we're out. The final game of today's episode will be third versus seventh in the Premier League. City sit in third place, three points off league leader Spurs, but Tottenham Hotspur have dropped points. City could go level on points to Spurs, but probably not on goal difference today. So could Manchester United. Arsenal, Newcastle further down the table, then Liverpool, and then it is seventh place Aston Villa, also on 31 points. So it's very, very close to the top. Uh, Villa away at Villa Park against Unai Emery's side. This is going to be a really difficult one to end the episode. Well, that is how Emery's side tend to line up. They play a certain way, don't they? Kick and rush. That is the way they've won four and lost one of their last five games. I mean, John Duran on the bench, Matson, uh, Phil Ogene, Buendia, Ramsey, Carlos Barkley. I mean, they've got such a great squad, Aston Villa. Rodgers playing behind Watkins. Rodgers just got his ability to turn, hasn't he? So, so good. This is going to be a difficult game for City without a doubt today. This is signed for Villa away from home. Haaland starts up top with Savinho and Docker in the wide areas. Foden, Gundogan and Bernardo Silva in City's midfield three. Then it's Vardiol, a very tired Nathan Ake, but he's been playing well, so he starts in there alongside Akanji and Lewis. Edison starts in goal, but Ake so tired, I mean, maybe have to sit, uh, sub him out at some point for Ruben Diaz. Or maybe we start Diaz and bring Ake on. I think I'll go with that just in case. Diaz gets in there alongside Akanji. This has got to be three points today for Manchester City. We can't keep dropping points in the Premier League. Well, Villa Park, here we go. Two of the top sides in the Premier League go head-to-head. -head. Two of the top managers in the Premier League in Unai Emery and Pep Guardiola go head-to-head. -head. As do the top goal scorers in the Premier League really as well in Erling Haaland and Ollie Watkins. It looks like they have a number 13 who I am not recognisable at all to me. I don't know who the number 13 is for Villa, but we will find that out, won't we? So starting with a goalkeeper, which of course will be Emilio Martinez, the Aston Villa uh, number one, and Argentina number one as well. It's Mings, Diego Carlos, Cash and Dini at the back, Eric Sanchez and Bill Kamara in the midfield too, Rodgers, Barclay and Leon Bailey in behind, Ollie Watkins up top. Plenty of options on the bench as well for Villa. White to Bernardo, into Haaland here. Haaland takes it. Haaland looks to hit it, and a good tackle by Tyron Mings, the captain at the death there. Foden. Rico Luis fouls him. Rico at top here. Phone is there. It's the wrong pass. I don't know what... That was always the wrong pass, but I played it anyway. Rico Lewis. Rico. Oh, I passed it and he didn't pass it. Decided against passing it. Why not do what as I tell you to do? The game obviously knows better, and that made me give the ball away. Ollie Watkins. 
Leon Bailey. Diaz dives in. Bailey. A kanji. Great defending. Why I ever try and go direct? I don't know. It never works. Oh, kanji. Diaz held off Watkins. Ollie Watkins. And what a save by Edison. Brilliant save. But what is Diaz doing there? Good feet by Savino. Luca Dean stays with him. Gets away from him. Back out to Gundogan. Foden arriving and into the hands of Emi Martinez. He hit it with his right, maybe not. Should have put it onto his left and hit it, I don't know. One ball to Watkins. Diaz in there. Handball referee against Watkins. Referee plays on. Right from Bernardo. Into Gundogan. Foden and that is half-time, 0-0. Bernardo's coming off. We need a better creative player in there. It's not working at half-time. Who sends the goal? Cool for City here. Leon Bailey. Going to run across. Only Watkins played in offside anyway. But a good save from Edison again. He's second of the game. Good save from Edison. And he skips in behind here. Doku. Doku for City. Doku. Doku to the byline. Doku into Haaland here. Doku again. And Martinez behind for a corner. Oh, good nick by Phil Foden. Into Haaland here. Haaland. Haaland still going. Haaland pulls the trigger. 1-0 City. We will pounce if you make a mistake. We certainly do pounce if you make a mistake. And it's Erling Haaland again. To give us the lead at Villa Park. If you make a mistake, let it be known. Erling Haaland is waiting. And he was doing here. What a strike from Haaland. Bottom right hand corner. Gives us the lead at Villa Park. Mistake. Phone and pounces. City have the lead here. And it's Erling Haaland again. Into Ilkay Gundogan. Right to Jack really. City looking to hit them in transition here. On to Jeremy Doku. Doku for City. Into Haaland. Right to Savinho. Savinho and a save. Back out to Doku. Phil Foden. Foden with a hit and in the middle at Martinez. Trying to win a free kick here, Grealish, if you can do. Grealish. Sliding challenge on him. Foden. Savinho. Grealish. Foden. Foden to kill this game off. What a goal by Manchester City. And it's the sniper, Phil Foden, with a winner. 2 0. Are we going to end this episode with a win? We wanted a 100% win record in today's episode. It's not happened. We have drawn one and we have lost one. But away a win at Villa Park and a great goal by Manchester City. Jack Grealish has been wonderful in midfield. Played so well here. He sets up Phil Foden. Foden cracks it past Demi Martinez. Really good play by Manchester City. Into Jeremy Doku. Into Erling Haaland here. Haaland. Onto oh, Oscar Bob. Oscar Bob! Oh, he's done it again. He has to work on his finishing bob because he could have three goals for City in two games here today. Back into Grealish here. Back towards Haaland here. Defended well behind by Villa for a corner. Foden over it. Foden in. Kyle Walker with a header into the hands of Martin. Oh, he did make a mistake here. Bob down the middle. Bob anyway. Bob does score. Oh, my word. Calamitous mistake at the back for Aston Villa. City can win with a 3-0 win. Bob should have... Four goals now. He's missed two absolute cities in the last two games. He scored again, Bob, back from injury. And I tell you what, Savinho should be worried because at the moment, Bob is performing better than him. What a Villa doing here. Right at Martez, who takes out Mings and Bob puts it in anyway. Lifts it into the... I mean, what if he put it over the net there? He's finishing certainly an area he needs to work on. But Oscar Bob is back. Manchester City win by three goals to nil. And we end today's episode with a big win to end it. Uh, which is good to see goals from Foden, Bob and Erling Haaland. Villa will fall further down the table and that might just put Manchester City top. Thank you for watching. Please like the video if you haven't already. And please do subscribe to the channel if you are new. If you're not watching the members section, why not? You see these videos extended and you get early access as well. It's worth seeing and we'll see you guys next time.